In this video guys I will show you step by step guide to fix lag and get more FPS in CS2. After these settings I assure you guys will get smooth gaming experience. So without wasting the time let's go into video. Go to Steam settings by right clicking on Steam and then clicking settings. Under the friends and chat tab, disable the enable Steam avatars and animated avatars. Next, move to the interface tab and disable enable smooth scrolling in web views, enable GPU accelerated rendering in web views, and enable hardware video decoding. Note that these changes require a Steam restart, but you can do that later since we have more to adjust. After that, go to the library tab and turn on the first three options. These settings slightly optimize Steam, reducing CPU usage, which should help your CS performance. Overall, you're good with the Steam settings. Open the Stream Launcher, right-click on CS2, go to Properties, click on Install Files tab, and click on Browse. Find the cs exe file where you installed. Right-click on it. Go to Properties. Now go to Compatibility tab. And guys here you can see this option. Run this program as administrator. Enable this option. Hit Apply and hit OK. Now guys go to General tab. Copy this command from description and paste here. This command help you to get more FPS in game. One crucial tip for ensuring your game runs smoothly is to install CS2 on an SSD rather than your main hard drive. This can significantly improve loading times, making you load into maps about 5 times faster, and it helps the game open more quickly while reducing frame drops. To do this, go to Properties, select Install Files, and move the CS to Installation folder to your SSD. It's an essential step for a better gaming experience. Let's move into the in-game settings can be a bit more complicated, so let's break them down. Under Advanced Video Settings, you'll find options that can enhance your gameplay experience. For Dynamic Shadows, you can choose between Sun only and All, while selecting All provides a significant advantage in-game. It does come at the cost of some FPS. If you're achieving more than 100 FPS, keep it on All. If you're below that, opt for Sun only to maintain your FPS. For global shadow quality, consider setting it to medium or turning it off for slightly better performance, as there's not much difference between medium and very high settings. Lastly, regarding Fidelity FX Super Resolution, if you have an older graphics card like the 1080, set this to performance. However, if you have a newer graphics card, such as a 3060, it's best to disable it, as it may negatively impact your game's visual quality compared to the FPS game. Go to search bar and search for device manager. Open it and find here system devices. Double click here and find high precision event timer. Right click here and disable it. Guys after disabling this, you will get more FPS and smooth gaming performance. In the next step, press Windows plus or key, and type here this command, and hit OK. Select all these files then right click and delete these files. Now right click on taskbar and open task manager. Now click on startup, and here you can see all apps that can automatically run when you start the PC. I recommend you disable all unnecessary apps to run automatically on startup. This method will help you to reduce lag in your game. In next step, right click here and go NVIDIA control panel. Here click on program settings and add here your game. Click on add and find your game where you install. After these settings you guys get maximum performance of your game. Image sharpening off. Anisotropic filtering, application control. Anti-aliasing FXA, off. Gamma correction, off. Anti-aliasing mode, application control. Anti-aliasing transparency, off. Background FPS, off. Cuda GPUs, use global settings. Low latency mode, on. Max frame rate, off. Rendering GPU, auto select. Set power management mode on, optimal power. Shader cache, off. Texture filtering sample option, off.
Texture filtering negative, allow. Texture filtering quality on quality. Try linear optimization, off. Threaded optimization, on auto. Triple buffering, off. Vertical sync, off. Set virtual reality pre-render, on use 3D application settings. I hope this stuff does help you guys, it definitely should, it helped me, especially with switching my game to the SSD, that was the best decision I've ever made, don't forget to subscribe, see you in next video.